As commanding officer and on behalf of 6th Regiment Army Air Corps, I would like to say thank you to Bury St Edmunds for the respect and support you have shown to the armed forces that serve in your community. With our regimental headquarters and 677 Squadron Army Air Corps based in Bury St Edmunds, for many years we've been part of the celebrations and commemorations all over the city and county. The flag raising today is to mark the countdown of Armed Forces Week. While celebrations and events have now become virtual, there are still plenty of ways you can show your support to the reservists, veterans, service families and cadet force adult volunteers within your community. For reservists, they will wear uniform at home or to work on the 24th of June. Reserves Day is an important opportunity to recognise and thank reservists, their families and their employers for the contribution to UK defence. This year in particular, the reserves in your community have distinguished themselves with their exceptional response to the coronavirus pandemic, all with the support of their employers. Individuals from across the reserve community were quick to volunteer to support UK Defence and help the NHS to save lives. Just over 150 reservists from the Bury St Edmunds area have been mobilised to date as planners, civil liaison officers and drivers. As well as the coronavirus response, reservists have continued to contribute to worldwide operations in support of UK Defence. Without the support from employers, many of whom are struggling with the impact of social distancing and wider COVID restrictions, I know that we would not be able to deliver the same level of support to Defence and to the nation. I therefore want to take this opportunity to thank you personally. Bury St Edmunds has strong links to the armed forces and those close ties continue with young people joining the forces to serve our country with honour and distinction. Returning home to civilian life as value members of their community greatly enriched by their experiences. Although we cannot celebrate together in person this year, we have united via virtual means. I would once again like to say thank you for showing your continued support.